friends, I'm Miss Dorothy, and we're so glad you're here today with us. And I'm Mr. Lucas, and I'm so glad we get to spend time learning together. Me too. And you know, I think that we're almost ready, but we're, we're missing, we're missing our, our good friend, the one who likes to dig, dig, dig into God's yes. Word. Um, do you remember his name? Tell me, tell me, tell me. That's it. It's yeah. Hamilton, isn't it? Yes, you're right. Now, tell me, if you think that Hamilton likes loud noises, then pat the top of your head like this. But if you think that Hamilton is kind of shy and likes gentle, quiet noises, just rub your tummy a bit. That's right. So when we call him, we need to use our gentle voices so we don't scare him. Are you ready? One, two, three, Hamilton. Hamilton, do you see him? Do you see him? Hello, my friend. Hello, Hamilton. Oh, good morning, sleepyhead. Hamilton, say hi to our friends. Oh, Hamilton, have you brought us a clue today? Oh my goodness, that's so kind, isn't it, boys and girls? Hamilton brought us a clue. And what did you bring us? Oh, my goodness, that must be a picnic basket. Boys and girls, do you think that's a clue for our God story today? Mr. Lucas, Yeah. what are some things that you might take on a picnic? Oh, peanut butter sandwiches and pickles, and apple pie, Yum. and lots of chocolate oh. if it's loud. Oh, that sounds so mm. yummy. Oh, I know. I like to bring watermelon on a picnic. Oh, boy. Well, boys and girls, give me two thumbs up if you're ready to hear today's part of the Big God mm. Story. Boom! Nice, well done. Yes, yes, Yay. okay. But now, before we get started, Hamilton, do you know where we can find the Big God story? You do, oh, don't you? Yes, he does yes. know, boys and girls, yes. It is in oh, yeah. God's book, the Bible. Yeah. It is, and, and God's book is so important. It tells us all about God, what God wants, and it tells us about Jesus. And Hamilton loves to dig, dig, dig into God's word. Sure and we does. do too, right kids? I see you, I see you're nodding your heads. Okay, let's stand up and let's sing our Bible song together. Now it's time to hear God's word, hear God's word, Hear God's word, now it's time to hear God's word, so let's look in the Bible. Hello everybody, Miss Elaine here. Thank you so much for coming to join me for the Big God Story today. Let's have a picnic while we hear the Big God Story. Let's have a picnic. Let's spread the blanket. And here's our little picnic. In this part of the Big God story, boys and girls, Jesus and his friends were going to take a rest and eat some food together on a boat. Jesus had been teaching a lot of people about God. While Jesus and his disciples were sailing on the water, Jesus saw a lot of people walking along the shore, and soon there were thousands of people. Can you help me count to 1,000? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A thousand! Good job! Now, I don't think you can count all the way to 5,000, so we'll stop there. And Jesus knew that all of these people wanted to hear about God. So, Jesus and his friends stopped and talked with all the people because he cared about them. Some of them were sick. So he healed them, and he made them feel better. Jesus cares so much for the people that he wanted to give them what they needed. Now, it started to get dark, and the people were getting so hungry. Can you rub your tummies like you're really hungry? I am hungry. Anyway, while the disciples, Jesus' friends, didn't know what to do with all these hungry people, one of the boys in the crowd had some loaves and some fishes. I think there's five loaves and two fishes. Should we count them together? Hamilton brought us a picnic basket for our clue for the Big God story. I think he was remembering this boy's lunch. So let's count our fish. 
One, two. That's right, we have two fish. And how many loaves of bread do we have? One, two, three, four, oh, oh, one more, five. That's a lot of bread, but there were a lot of people and not that much food. Jesus' friends brought him the food because they didn't know how to feed all of these people with just a little bit of food. Now, if you think that Jesus found a way to feed all these people, put your hands on your tummy. You are so right. Jesus cared so much for the people and he wanted them to eat. So this is what Jesus did. He held the food up to heaven and he asked God to bless the food. And then Jesus started to break up the food and put it in the baskets. And the baskets just kept filling up and filling up. And there was so much food. And the disciples passed out the food to all the 5,000 people. That's a lot of people. And everyone got to eat. And there was even food left over after everybody had eaten. You know how much food was left over? 12 baskets of food. I think Jesus did a miracle, don't you? Yes, he did, boys and girls. Jesus did a miracle. Now, did Jesus care about the people? Give me a thumbs up if you think he did. Oh, that's right. He did, and he gave them food when they needed it. And Jesus cares about you. Jesus gives us what we need. I'm so happy that Jesus cares about the people in the big God story and that he cares about me and that he cares about you. Jesus cares. Now let's say that together. Jesus cares. Let's pray and thank God for caring for us. You can repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for making miracles happen. Thank you that you care for every one of us. We love you, amen. Thank you for coming and listening so well today. I can't wait to see you again, and we'll learn more about how Jesus is God, and he is amazing. Wow, that is one of my favorite Me stories. Me too. And now, boys and girls, it's time to learn our brand new memory verse that I tells us how great and mighty God is. So, let's try it together. I'm gonna, I'll say it for you first, okay? okay. Well, watch my hands, you do the same thing. It goes, great is our Lord and mighty in power. Psalm 147, verse five. Will you say it after me? I'd love to. Okay, I'd you, love to. you say it with Miss Dorothy. Are you ready? Here we go, are you standing up? Good, okay, it goes, great is our Lord. Great is our Lord. And mighty. And mighty. In power. In power. Psalm 147, verse five. Psalm 147, verse five. Wow, I am so impressed how quickly we learned that verse. Friends, I love learning with you. And today, we learned that Jesus cares. And remember, God loves you so much. And we do too. Bye, Bye friends. Bye.
everything. Why?